did you, you guys were up by 12 early in the fourth. Did you think that was possible for them to outscore you 25 to 10? I mean, that's, that didn't happen to you guys very often. No, that was, uh, um, you know, they played well in the fourth. We didn't shoot the ball so well on defense. Uh, I'm on the offensive side of the ball and defensively. Uh, they made some tough shots over us, but you know they had momentum. You know after they cut the lead to, from 12 to five, and you know so they kept going after that. So uh, we just got to be better. We got to be better in those situations, and uh, I'm confident we will. Do you feel like um, yesterday was a missed opportunity for y'all? Yeah, most definitely. We had an opportunity to go up three-one. It was up 12. Um, definitely a missed opportunity, but we got another opportunity tomorrow to kind of, you know. Uh, turn the series back and uh, it's an exciting time for us to see what uh, see what that's about you know so we're looking forward to playing tomorrow. Oh, Do you have a little surprised that Draymond is named to the second defensive team? Uh, not surprised that he's on either team. Um, great defender. Um, somebody that covers up a lot for us on the defensive side of the ball. Takes pride in playing defense. Um, so he, he deserves all those honors. But I mean, the second is opposed since he was Defensive Player of the Year last oh, year. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess that's uh, they get tired of seeing Draymond up there. <laughs> <laughs> what about your exclusion? It's all good. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. So if uh, we don't know what Andre's situation is going to be going into game five, but if he's limited or doesn't play, and this is the rotation you got, how do you maximize that six and a half, seven player rotation against this team? Just got to figure it out. They're playing seven guys, too. So let's uh, try to match, uh, match up well. Um, keep playing with energy and force on the defense side of the ball. Offensively, we need to be way better. Uh, but just play no matter what we're playing at, no matter you know what the circumstance is, if we just go out there and play extremely hard, fast, play well, uh, we'll be in a good position. How long it take you to get over uh, you try to get over it fast, but it's, it's impossible, especially at this time of year. So, you know, you wanna watch, well, after you watch the film and practice, you kind of, you know, try to move on and, and um, get ready for the next one. Very much. Some of the guys were, were pissed off after last night. Does being pissed off help? I mean, does that give you anything you, when you play that way? Yeah, if you, if you use it in the right direction, if you want to correct the mistakes and play a little bit more aggressive and angry, um, but smart at the same time. Uh, you can channel that in the right direction. So um, we know that this team is tough to beat, especially at home. So we're looking forward to you know going out here and see if we uh, see if we can get it done. And you know, we're confident that we go out there and play well. How, how important is your, is your catch zone where you catch the ball? You know, if it's 20 feet out, if it's 15. Yeah, I feel like last night in the fourth of that we caught the ball at the three point line. So uh, we just want to be you know put us in good positions to. Score and you know get everybody involved. So for me especially, uh, I got to do a better job of catching the ball closer. When you looked at the film, what did you guys think that you needed to do better offensively? What did you take away from it? Uh, just move more, move with uh, more pace. Uh, just make strong moves to the rim uh, and not turn the ball over. 16 turnovers, still a lot against this team. So you know we got to be strong with the basketball and be forceful when we get it. How much do you embrace the challenge and the excitement of being at this level of the playoffs, being tied 2-2 and all the excitement that comes with it? Uh, it's, a, it's an amazing time, you know, especially for basketball players, uh, fans around the country, around the world. You know, and, but as a player, you just, you know, you accept uh, the mistakes that you made and try to move on from them. And if you play well, just try to build off of it. So, you know, it's pretty simple. And uh, especially for us right now, after a tough loss, we want to see how we can you know, get better from what we did last game and try to get a W. Kevin, on that note, Draymond was saying, like, when you guys are in pressure situations, that, that brings the best out in you. What, what do you notice what you guys do better in those kind of things, and how does that apply tomorrow? Uh, I just think um, after we hit some adversity, we try to look back and see how we can get, get better and focus in on that as much as we can and play a smarter game. You know, I think... Uh, if you come out there and do that, you know, we, we put ourselves in a good position. So it's just the fact that, you know, when we take a loss, uh, we look at the tape and see what, you know, the areas where we can get better and improve on it. Thank you.